you motivated this team. I mean, you had to guide them. Uh, we had know, to build a team. Yeah, we build a team, uh, motivate it, guide them, mm -hmm. deal with them. You know, we we we've interviewed just lots and lots of people from the mm -hmm. Macintosh team, Good. and and uh, and you know what it keeps coming down to is is your passion, your vision, and and you know how do you order your priorities in there? What what what's important to you in the development of a product? You know, one of the things that really hurt Apple was after I left, John Scully got a very serious disease. And that disease, I've seen other people get it too, it's, um, it's the disease of thinking that a really great idea is 90% of the work. And that if you just tell your, all these other people, you know, here's this great idea, then, of course, they can go off and make it happen. And the problem with that is, is that there's a, just a tremendous amount of craftsmanship in, in between a great idea and a great product. And as you evolve that great idea, it changes and grows. It never comes out like it starts, because you learn a lot more as you get into the subtleties of it. And you also find there's tremendous trade-offs that you have to make. I mean, you know, there are, there are just certain things you you can't make electrons do. There are certain things you can't make plastic do or glass do. And, and, and as you get into, or factories do, or robots do. And as you get into all these things, designing a product is keeping 5,000 things in your brain, these concepts, and fit, fitting them all together in, in, in kind of continuing to push to fit them together in new and different ways to get what you want. And every day you discover something new that is a new problem or a new opportunity to fit these things together a little differently. And it's that process that is the magic. Um, and so we had a lot of great ideas when we started. But w what I've always felt that a team of people doing something they really believe in is like, is, is like when I was a young kid, um, there was a... Um, a widowed man that lived up the street and uh, he was in his 80s uh, he's a little scary looking and and I got to know him a little bit um, I think he might have paid me to cut his mow his lawn or something and one day he said come on into my garage I want to show you something and he pulled out this dusty old rock tumbler and it was a, a motor and a, and a and a coffee can and a little you know band between them and, and he said, come on with me. We went out to the back, and we got some, just some rocks, some regular old ugly rocks. And, he, we, and we put them in the can with a little bit of, uh, of liquid and a little bit of, uh, of uh, grit powder. And um, we closed the can up, and, and he turned this motor on. He said, come back tomorrow. And his can was making a you know, racket as the stones went around. And I came back the next day, and we, took, we opened the can, and we took out these amazingly beautiful polished rocks. Um, the same common stones that had gone in through rubbing against each other like this, creating a little bit of friction, creating a little bit of noise, had come out these beautiful polished rocks. And that's always been, in my mind, my metaphor for a team working really hard on something they're passionate about, is, is that it's through the team through that group of incredibly talented people bumping up against each other, having arguments, having fights sometimes, making some noise, and working together, they polish each other. And they polish the ideas, and what comes out are these really beautiful stones. Yeah. So it's hard to explain, um, and it's certainly not the result of one person. I mean, people like symbols, so I'm the symbol of certain things. but. It really is a, it was a team effort on the Mac.